This is the first in a series of videos on the, ba the basics, accounting basics, and today we're going to look at something that is one of the most basic concepts in accounting, which is account types in the accounting equation. Now, if you've read your chapter, you may have read the accounting equation as assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity. But what is an asset? What is um, a liability and what is stockholders' equity? In order to understand that equation, you have to have a good understanding of the, um, what these words are. So assets are resources owned by the business. Some examples, um, every business should have some cash, resource cash. Also supplies and accounts receivable, that would be money that is owed to the business by their customers. And land, building, vehicles, any type of equipment they may have, those are all assets of the business. Liabilities, uh, in one word, are debts. And most end in the word payable. And some examples that you'll see, uh, should see in your book, are accounts payable, money that we owe to our vendors, um, and notes payable. You might also see salaries payable. And then the third one down here, uh, stockholders' equity. That is the stockholders' rights to the assets of the business. And there's really two types of accounts that we'll be using with stockholders' equity in the first several chapters. And those are capital stock. That would be the capital that's been issued to the shareholders or owners in the business and retained earnings, which are all the earnings that's been, that have been retained in the business since it started minus any uh, dividends that might have been paid to the shareholders. Okay, once we have an understanding about the, uh, those particular account types, the accounting equation begins to make more sense because if we look at our assets, they're either owned by our creditors or by our stockholders. Okay, going on to the next page, um, there are Handouts to download with most all of these uh, videos in the series, and if you've done that, there are a few problems. Um, so go back and again, I put the accounting equation up here again, assets equal liabilities plus stockholders equity. All right, if we know in a business what one of these groups are, we can figure out what the other is. Okay, so if in Best Buy, we had assets of 1,200 and, I'm sorry, 12,758,000, and liabilities of $8,274,000, all we need to do is subtract to get the $4,484,000 that must be the stockholder's equity. In uh, Hewlett Packard, if they had assets of $113,331,000 and liabilities of $74,389,000, all we need to do is subtract to get their um, stockholder's equity of $38,000,000. 942,000. All right, let's just step it up a little bit. If we know what one of these categories are, we can figure out the others. So if we know what our liabilities are in this next equation, we know our liabilities are 70,000 and our stockholders' equity is 120,000. So if assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity, all we need to do is add the 120,000 plus the 70,000 to give us 190,000 in assets. Going down to the next one, if we know what our assets are, and we um, know what our assets are and our stockholders' equity is, then all we need to do is um, subtract to get our liabilities. The assets of 160,000 minus the liabilities of 70,000 is going to give us 90,000 in liabilities. And down here on the last one, we, if we know what our assets are and we know what our liabilities are, but we don't know our stockholders' equity, we're going to take the assets minus the liabilities to give our to get our stockholders' equity. Okay, once that um, we've kind of mastered that equation, there are two more account types I want to show you today that we're going to encounter. Um, there's actually five basic types of accounts: assets, liabilities, owner stockholders' equity, revenue, and expenses. Revenue and expenses were not in that accounting equation. I am going to talk 
a little bit later on how they impact the accounting equation. But revenues are what we do when we're selling products or services to our customers. And I think account we'll see used a lot in our book is fees earned. Uh, in a service business, uh, revenue account might be fees earned. If we were a merchandising business, it might be sales. But again, this is what we're in the business to do, to bring in revenues. Um, and then expenses are just basically the costs uh, to, that we've spent to earn revenues. Um, some examples would be rent expense, utility expense, salaries expense, telephone expense, just paying those regular ongoing day-to-day -day activities of the business. We could have things like advertising expense, we do periodically, maybe we have to fix our vehicle so we have some maintenance expense. Um, Whatever the category is, if you write the word expense out of it, after it, you always have an expense account. So expense accounts end in the word expense. Now how do these two affect the accounting equation? Well, as the business earns revenues by selling products or services to their customers, they're actually increasing the stockholders' rights to the assets of the business. Uh, so revenues increase stockholders' equity. Expenses, on the other hand, those costs that we had to incur to earn the revenues would um, take away from the stockholders' equity in the business.